The CO2 roamer is part of a series of works that attempt to upgrade natural organisms with man-made technology. In this project, I attempt to help a bamboo plant by giving it the ability to find high concentrations of CO2. More poetic than practical, I hope that the project will help highlight the intersection of technology with the plant world and create a dialogue about our responsibility in protecting our natural resources. In addition, I am trying to emphasize both the incredible speed at which technology can destroy nature and the potential crucial role technology may play in preventing the final obliteration of our natural world. Despite increasing awareness of the importance of plants for our survival, deforestation continues to occur at a devastating rate. For example, about 214,000 acres of rainforest, an area larger than New York City, is destroyed every day. At this rate, the last rainforest will be gone in 2100, just in time for my grandchildren to have to deal with unknown global effects. Unfortunately, most people either fail to recognize the urgency of the issue or feel powerless to stop it. With this roamer, I would like to focus on the direct and vital relationship that humans have with trees and to illustrate that the responsibility for preservation of that relationship falls on us. Why CO2? Breathing is a universal symbol of life across cultures and species. Humans breathe in oxygen and expel carbon dioxide. This CO2 then floats through a tree which converts the CO2 into energy and in return expels the oxygen needed to continue the cycle. Although my intent is to help the plant, the reality is that the project simultaneously helps the viewer by increasing oxygen as well, even if the viewer is not interested. The CO2 sensor in the plant's base collects information about the concentration of CO2 in a room. As long as energy is available to the batteries, the roamer can then move itself to the region where the highest concentration of CO2 is available, thus maximizing its collection of the gas. It keeps its power up by using its mechanical leaves to collect solar energy. As soon as it has more than 50% power on board, it goes hunting for CO2 again. The inspiration for this piece came from heavy contemplation about how I can best show my desire to help plants through my art. I am frustrated by the slow progress being made to reverse the damage that our technology has created. Not due to the technology itself, but rather the misuse of it. My art is a way of processing this frustration, while at the same time trying to create a positive impact on our environment. For example, by creating works that crosses the line to design, my sculptures sometimes actually collect energy, or in this case, help a plant grow and survive.